First day of school in Georgia. Oh, I guess COVID doesn't exist anymore. And masks aren't necessary. Oh, and F social distancing. <laughs> oh, this sucks for these kids, man. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash, well, that sucks. Let's get into it. I drew this map for my now ex-boyfriend who loves maps. Sadly, we broke up before he could see it. Oh, dang, you're a pretty good artist. It's a shame that you two weren't meant to be because, I don't know, it looks like you spent quite some time on that. Ugh, that sucks. With my remaining 3% battery on my phone, I post this. What are you doing, dude? Stop wasting your time posting this. You need to get to the store ASAP because once that phone gets to 1%, if it dies, it's never coming back on. Take care of this, now. Using a fake hawk on your roof to scare the seagulls, but instead, they become BFFs. Oof, you played yourself there, bud. Now you got three times the amount of crap on your roof that you would have had. Oh, that sucks. Be careful with your pockets. Okay, I'm not sure that was even possible. Like how fast were you going that you dropped your phone, it lands in the chain, and the chain is moving fast enough to catch the phone and just shred it like that? Jeez, dude, must have been going down a nasty downhill. I wonder if insurance covers that. Probably not. This guy and co lived in the garden as chicks, been feeding them like clockwork each morning ever since. As I went out this morning, I heard a large thud. He'd flown into the glass door behind me and passed away. Oh, no way. I've actually seen so many birds do this. It's like they really can't see it because the glass is that clear or they just don't care. <laughs> like uh, I've hit probably, I don't know, three or four different birds now when I'm driving. Like they'll be sitting at the side of the road. I'll drive past and as I'm driving past, they'll fly right in front of my car. Let me tell you, hitting a bird, mm, it's not nice. This is my day. I clean police vehicles. This is a pod. A pod is how Australian police transport people to police stations, usually after being arrested. Dang, be careful with all that blood because you don't know what type of stuff they got. I mean, at least this is all on plastic, which I'm sure isn't by coincidence, so hopefully you could just hose it out or pressure wash it or something, but ooh, that's nasty. Just set up the new monitor. Chair slipped under me and I hit the desk. And monitor fell and broke. Happy Friday. Oh, guys, literally like two days ago when I was editing one of these videos, the same thing happened to me, except I got lucky enough that my monitor didn't break. Like I was chilling back for like two seconds and I was gonna switch on a YouTube video, kicked my feet up onto my desk and whoop, boom, smashed the ground hard and landed right on the arm of the chair. Of course, right in my back. So I got a nice little bruise going. Ah, the things I do for these videos. Hope it's worth it. I posted yesterday about hail breaking my toe and wiping out all my crops. Well, turns out my foot is broken as well. My car is totaled and my produce is 100% unsalvageable. Oh, your luck is the worst. I've only been caught in a hailstorm that was like that bad once and it was a hailstorm somehow mixed with like a tornado. I don't know, I was in Wisconsin, I was visiting Wisconsin and uh, her tornado sirens and the next thing you know, doo, 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 on top of the car and I mean, it wasn't my car, it was my friend's dad's car. Needless to say, he wasn't happy about that damage. So for this chick to lose the crops, the car, and break her foot and toe? What are the chances? Oh, I feel so bad for you, I'm sorry. My wife had a nasty surprise when trying to get coffee this morning. Oh, why do people do this? Like, oh, do something better with your life. Stealing people's tires and reselling them or just using them on your vehicle? Like, this is the low of the low. Get your life together and buy your own tires. Don't steal from other people, guys. Like, ugh. This is how drunk me sets his alarm clock. <laughs> I'm 
plugs it into the calculator. Hey, I mean, at least you weren't so drunk that you couldn't even find your phone or attempt to set an alarm clock. You were still somewhat there and thought about it. It's a thought that counts, right? Well, I hope that's what your employer thinks. Get rid of mass. Tips will be bigger. 38.15 and a five cent tip. Wow. You're a piece of garbage. You realize that these workers don't have a choice in whether or not they wear a mask, right? So it has nothing to do with them, everything to do with the fact that COVID is a thing. And if you didn't want them to wear masks and, and also not tip if they were going to, how about you just don't go out? Because every restaurant is basically requiring their employees to wear masks, which is a good thing. So you're just a scumbag person. My puppy found my savings and destroyed some of my cash. Well, I mean, this does suck. It's a little inconvenient, but at least he didn't eat it and you still have it because I'm pretty sure, at least in America, if you take in a majority of the bill, they'll replace it for you for free. So, I mean, hopefully the same thing applies for, I think this is a Mexican bill. I'm not sure, but yeah, hopefully it's not the worst case scenario. Hit the handlebars pretty hard on my dirt bike. Oh man, I think we've all wiped out on a bike, but on a dirt bike, I mean, you can just look at this leg and see that's a whole nother level. Oh, I hope you heal quick, man. That looks rough. Amazon truck knocked over my mailbox. He didn't even have my package. <laughs> oh, so I've driven for Amazon. And I'm not going to lie, I got stuck in somebody's yard and I tried to get out and just created a huge mud pit in their front yard. And then the lady came out and I was like, oh no, I'm sorry. And I had to call my company and be like, yo, I messed up and I needed to get a tow truck. It's the only time I've ever been in any sort of accident. And it wasn't really an accident, but still wrecked that lady's yard. So, I mean, at least in my situation, I know it was covered fully and she got her yard fixed within a few days. So hopefully the same applies to this chick's mailbox. <laughs> but man, oh, I was tweaking when I got that car stuck in the lady's front yard. Hurricane Mitch rendered the Choluteca Bridge, Honduras, useless after it changed the course of the river it was built for. What? I didn't realize that a hurricane could actually change the course of a river that much. Like just one hurricane, that's crazy. And also like, where is the road that was leading up to this bridge in the first place? Like what? Did they just drive on the sand and then the bridge? Uh, I don't know, I'm confused. Three-year-old poured a can of soda into my $2,000 PC. Oh, I know this pain. I mean, I don't, but I can imagine. I only have like a thousand dollar PC pre-built and if something happened to it, oh, that would suck. So the fact that this is double the amount and it was your kid, so it's not like you can get mad at them. Like, oh man. My eight year old decided the keyboard should be in alphabetical order. Hey, just remember, it starts with QWERTY. Start from there, you'll be able to figure it out for the people that actually use their keyboard like this? What's wrong with you? Yesterday, I forgot to bring my arm down while driving a crane inside. Hey, I mean, at least you're allowed back on the job site. That means you didn't get fired. <laughs> at least not yet. But that's a lot of damage, so you could be in a world of hurting. Hopefully your boss isn't too mean on you. Managed to dislocate my elbow last night. Came home after getting a cast and found the house in smokes because I left the eggs on the flame. Whoa, it's a double whammy right here. Dislocated elbow, at least it's not broken, and then almost setting your house on fire. Oh, man, <laughs> buddies in shambles. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash, well, that sucks. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, do me a favor and share this video with your friends. It really helps. Till next time, peace.